we have to talk about this match. Yeah, Devin wasn't a liar. He was a prophecy. He, tell, he's, he's we, a prophet. he told us we we're going to get BB and Jewel. Here we are now. All right. Uh, I have no idea how this set's going to go. I feel like it'd be very explosive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see. Um, Rob, Robert. Oh, that's not an ST. Okay. Yeah, no. I thought he uh, lost his jump. No, no. Even if he didn't have a jump, he would have still made it back because um, the change is on his up B. All right. He's able to go further and deeper down the stage, which is good for this game especially. Yeah, you need to be able to recover at least somewhat. All right. Down there to down tilt. That's new to me. Yeah. Um... I just want to say, Corrin's falling up air in this game is actually just Smash 4 Cloud falling up air. And <laughs> no one can fight me on that. No, 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 no deny. No deny. Uh, it has immense, it's crazy damage output and confirms into other up airs. It's yeah. actually ridiculous. And we're, we're seeing Robin with the same stuff right here. Yeah. Robin's aerials, you can, they're so, like, I don't want to say spammable, but they're definitely spammable. <laughs> it's actually awesome. Yeah, man, when you have that ground, when you have that ground speed, you might as well just use your aerials. Yep. Like you see him just going for double jumps, uh, not even going towards where Vivi is, but just in case Vivi decides to go for a, a habit double jump. You wouldn't expect that from a Robin. He he has the tools to do it now. Yeah, Joel's showing thing. that. Joel takes very good advantage of all of Robin's um, buffs in this game. Oh, I think he takes advantage of his um his bad attributes too. He does. He uses uh, Nosferatu like really well, and I wouldn't say it's a bad move, but it's definitely not something you spam. It's super situational. Yeah, and he uses it very consistently in very good placement. Very good, but very good, off stage. You also got to consider Vivi, very good player himself. Oh, yes, yes. Really good at clutching out on the, the moment he needs it. Yep. Lucario actually doing him favors for that, too. Oh, watch that. That's a hitbox. And this is a very important stock for this game. If uh, Vivi manages to take the stock for it, he's in a very good position for the next one. That's great. And vice versa, to be honest. Oh, this projectile game is yes. very scary. Oh. And that's not oh, it. Oh, he got out. He was still in the air. Ouch. Oh, this is so scary. All right, he didn't get hit by the sweet spot. So he's I hate this. <sighs> you, you can't have a Lucario set without oh feeling like the way you do right now, Adi. Dude. I'm telling you right now. Oh, Freaking my God. How is he <laughs> avoiding all these? It's, ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Please stay up it. there. Please stay up. Ah, oh, come on, man. Wow. Look. look um, this applied. This happened in Smash 4 and applies still. Um, if you if you lose the stock first, Lucario gets weaker. Really? At, after seven seconds. So you just wait it out. On just the wait it out. Just wait it out. Although in this game you have less and invincibility oh. if you stay, but it's wor it's worth it, man. You don't want to take a lot of damage. Yeah. At the beginning. All right. So oh. Vivi really doesn't want to drop this stock. Or sphere out. Yeah. And caught you jumping. As I was saying before, um, Robin has such great tools with his uh, up air that he can just j double jump uh, and overshoot his up airs to maybe get the hit. Honestly, man, char char um, being able to jump out of your charge is probably one of the most brilliant buzz I see in a projectile char character ever. Yeah. It's just, it, it allows him to have so much more mobility. A lot of mix-up, too. Yep. And so much mix-up potential. And it really tests your opponent, too, on how they react to um, anything that's charge-related. Yeah. They might be very, very used to just them being stuck in charge and maybe getting a really good F-Smash read. Okay. Wow, uh, that okay, was a little yeah. extra, but... Here's the thing. If he got it, that would have killed. Really? It would have killed. I'm telling you right now, that would have killed. Damn, not with Smash 4. <laughs> no. All right. Oh, Nice good read. That covered everything. I appreciate that a lot, and his coverage is so good. Oh, my lord. Vivi had, I don't want to say he had no options, because he definitely did, but everything that made him feel comfortable was just covered. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Cloud. Wow. <laughs> That's Cloud. Yep. He's at 60% off of, like, four hits. Oh, oh yeah, those four. I counted. Yep. It's safe, man. You got to respect it. For sure. And now he's out. Now, Vivi, you really just can't approach Robin to, uh, never mind. That was a very good back air, though. Like, yeah, it was. It uh, he, yeah, he caught um, Joel um, getting off flashy as usual yeah. and really took advantage of that, taking that back air, and Bill has a chance at this game. And the reason he was actually able to get that bear was because of um, what you said before about uh, being able to jump out of your charge. It's kind of given a lot of Robin mains a bit of a jump habit. Oh, yeah. So Lucario has that, too. Yeah, I, exactly. I'm just used to him be reversing on... On landing. Ah, uh, that's that it. Wow. Vivi wow. so clutch. Oh my god. Man, it makes you wish you, this character didn't exist. 
Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. Um, I low-key don't wish that both these characters didn't exist. But <laughs> anyways. <laughs> I I know I feel I feel Jules pain right now. I lost the same way to VV once in Smash Ultimate. It's it's rough. Nah, man, that pain didn't get to him. It, it literally went straight to me because he already died the moment he got touched. Yeah, you you saw that just the effect too. It's like, yeah, just right there. Yikes! All the blue. And it looks like um, VV is gonna ban Kalos and Story, and I just missed the sage that we're going. Me too. Um, not sure where we're going. Battlefield. Battlefield. Okay, right. this is fair. So I'm. This feels like a very weird pick from Jewel because this just means that VV is going to be able to survive to longer percents now with bigger uh, blast zones. But this also means that um, VV has to watch his spacing when he jumps and um, B reverses. Because if he if he jumps way too high, he's going to end up in a platform, and right. I don't think that's going to be what he wants if Jewel's already in the bottom. Yeah, and Jewel has had very good sharking in this match, so. Mm -hmm. Platforms are only going to help with that, to be honest. He's going to be able to up there through the platforms. Yeah, taking advantage of the um, charge mechanics. Very That's good. That's not it. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, Jewel was... Uh, nah, not Jewel. BB was SCIing up. Yeah. And it was able to air dodge out of the arc fire. Okay. Very good maneuvering around that arc fire. A lot of people stay in shield, letting it... Uh, giving it too much respect. Yes. Like, don't forget, it's, it's really slow. Yeah, on startup, it's... Not very good. And now Joel out of um, his uh, electric tomes. Oh, I love Vivi's uh, edge guard game. He just weaves back and forth until he finally goes for that two frame back air. All right, Vivi going for a little too many jumps, getting caught by the nair. Yeah, All right, oh, well wow, he's it again. so consistent with that SDI into air dodge. Jewel needs to start reading that and actually just go, um, dashing back for a smash attack. Yeah. Oh. And if this was the last patch, he would have been dead, and he's yeah. dead anyways. I didn't even know that you could do that. Just do Mario. <laughs> Trying to catch him. But BB's going to delay his recovery. He's still hanging on to his first stock. Wow, wow that's just fun. Uncharged neutral B from Robin cancels that out. Yeah, it was L Thunder. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, Oh, yeah, I would do anything to just get rid of that big giant orb. Yeah, that can't feel good for Lucario players, man. That nah. tiny little, tiny little spark. One pizza. little dab. That one pepperoni on the big pizza. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Oh. Uh, that should have just been a back throw or something, to be honest. It Not wouldn't have killed. Wouldn't have killed, but what did he? He really didn't have any options to punish that. That's true. Maybe a dash attack. Dash attack probably would have killed him. But he gets the stock anyways. Yeah, not taking too much damage. Okay. okay. That looks so much cooler than it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> right, good sword play. Man, I don't like it when Jewel has his, his garbage around him, man. <laughs> it, 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 it's like he's telling me, like, look, I'm going to hit you with this, and it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, he's definitely one of the only Robins that really takes advantage of that sword. Yeah, man. Like, I wouldn't think that a, a, like a one man's trash is actually the same man's treasure. Yeah, that's a, just meta, man. All right. Wow, Vivi going for ball in that smash. Yeah, and this is and this is the best time because he he doesn't have he didn't have his Levin sword for a while. Right. Vivi doing such a good job of maneuvering around up all of Robin's hitboxes. Arc, Arc fire especially. He's just not getting hit by that. And All right, he he's is, getting his book. He's SDIing out of it. All right, good landing there. Yeah, he's respecting it now. Really? All right. Back air. Not going to take it yet. And mind you, we're, we're still on our second stock. They're both. Oh, wow, that's really good uh, arc fire placement. He needs All to right. go high or just wait it out. Uh, so I guess Jules not going to go for um, the arc fire pickup. Yeah. Oh, oh. wrong. That worked yeah. out. <sighs> DV definitely could have just side beat for the stock. Yeah, definitely. But I guess he choked that uh, punish right there. Oh, that could have been a kill too. Yeah, to be it All right. Catching the jump out of shield. All right, Arc, uh, not Arc. <laughs> um, Jewel definitely has a lot of very good shield pressure right now. Mm -hmm. Oof, arrow. 
All right, yeah. Dash attack from the finally, Bronze Sword, gonna take it. Finally calling that out. Uh, VV's been very content to just sit there and charge for the whole match. And he's doing it when he needs, he knows he needs to get that stock. Ooh, that was close. That was really yeah. close. VV with the Lemon Sword, but they seem to throw it away. Watch the counter. Be very careful with that, Jewel. You can't. Can't do that too mindlessly. No. And it's lucky for him, he didn't have, um, Lucario doesn't have enough aura to actually make that kill. Yeah. Very, uh, that was really good. Yep. Gonna go for up air? Yeah. Okay. I thought he was gonna do landing up air too and um, get a lot of stuff out of it. Alright, one more love and sword use and he's not gonna go for it. He's gonna keep the, um, the ledge pressure going on BB. Up till anti air. That he exploded. Mm -hmm. Holy heck. You can blink and see him go to the blossom. He doesn't even have that much aura either. Nope. But remember, even like like I said earlier about um Lucario's aura when it is the vice versa situation when it comes to him losing the stock first. Right. And Vivi, very comfortable right now, actually, because he has a very slight amount of aura, which is going to help him with these early percent combos. And he's not too worried about just exploding. Vivi trying to go ready to roll in. Joel offending for the opposite. I would say as long as Vivi stays be below 100%, he's got an overwhelming lead at this point. Ooh. Yeah, Vivi is maneuvering around his little projectiles. All right, good uh, catch on that. Fear. Oh, man. Don't do that, man. Don't uh, do that. He, I think he knew he was he, he dead. Yeah, right. The moment he dropped down the ledge, that's not what you should be doing against Robin's Arcfire. Um, I would have. That would have been okay if he dropped off and then went for a really high recovery to the right yeah, side that platform. Too. That too. Um. Jewel maybe could have punished that, but Robin's very slow. So even if he reacted, he might not have been able to get there in time. Mm -hmm. um, rip. Yeah, but now we're having a game three situation right here, and um, Jewel's actually going to ban Lila and Yoshi Brawl. Uh, I think Vivi's going to run it back. Nope, we're going to go back to Pokemon City 2. No DSR around here, because, uh, no. Because it is Dave's stupid rule. Yeah, it's stupid, man. I feel I feel like sometimes the people that actually run it they don't they just no. say DSR but ignore the S. Yeah, they're like, bro, are, do you know like what they meant when they made it? Like they knew, they knew it was they dumb. knew, like they knew it was Dave's stupid rule. But all right, we're gonna go back to PS2. All right. Um, so both these players keeping it very even with each other in both games. Definitely. Um, let's see how Vivi adapts to this match. It looked like Jewel had a lot of control, uh, especially towards the middle and end of that match. Yeah. And even in the first game as well. Yeah. Oh, 46% off of a fair. Jeez. Robin's ridiculous. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. Yeah, no, he, he didn't have a lemon sword. Oh, wow. I, I can never keep track of that, man. Hey, man, there's a meter right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. I, I barely knew that meter was even there. <laughs> like, I, 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 damn. Yeah, it, it's pretty small. And you're focused on what what the hell is in front of you. That's a crazy cancel. Oh, okay. he had the right idea. Really lucky trade there for BB. Oh, he got really he, he didn't know where he was going to end up. They're both they're so much for the Getty. They're both so spooked right now. Uh, BB holding the Thunder Tome. All right, getting some good damage with it. Oof. That covered a, both a jump and um, dropping shield. Oh, all right. <laughs> Elf under breaking the aura sphere. I want to see Vivi maybe shooting. Wrong um, way. I want to see Vivi shoot his aura sphere through the arc fire. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ouch! All right. That no, sent okay. him less far than I expected. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Space yeah. it right now. He's going to get back to the ledge for free. Yeah, that takes a lot of setup on Robin's part. Definitely. He needs to just get off the ledge. And That's how laggy that was. Is that it? Yes. Wow. All right, so VV not letting that nerf, slight nerf uh, to the uh, cancel get to him. Yeah, because it, it, it looks a lot more difficult in this game. Yeah. 
And uh, the patch also removed his uh, ability to up smash out of it. I didn't read that. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, then I, again, I didn't really read yeah. Lucario's changes. I know Anti was complaining and considering dropping the character because of that. I see, I see. All right, bread, bread and butters. And here's, oh, that was not a bread and butter. Yeah, I think he wanted to um, go for another arc fire because I know that's a setup for this, um, for Robin. Maybe with the tiny shield right now, so he's going to offer a, a movement to actually rack up more damage and find a way around him. Um, a little Both aggressive. Guys, they just blow each other up at low percent. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to throw my garbage back and then see you get hit by it without looking. That was, oh my god, Vivi stopped his uh, aerial momentum with a dare to avoid getting hit by Robin. So smart. Nice. All right. If Vivi can take this a little bit farther, get this good ledge trapping, ah, oh, drops it with the <sighs> too greedy. Let me smash. All right. Um, Joel not opting to get um, the fire toma. Maybe going for a lot of these nears on shield. I wonder if he's going to get stuffed out soon. He messed up the 11 sword grab and got him hit, and now he's off stage with no stage control. <sighs> wow, that one drop on the 11 sword catch. Yep. Awesome yeah, he ended up air dodging. He definitely didn't expect to miss it and uh, wasn't sure what to do afterwards. All right. Uh, uh -huh. See, that nice. worked. But that was ugly. Yeah. <laughs> um, that definitely felt a little bit desperate, but got the job done. Yes. All right, he's trying to set up a, um, his fair juggles. <laughs> okay. Jewel's starting to parry. That's always terrifying when someone starts parrying at the last minute. Mm -hmm. All right, very good ledge trapping. Forces Vivi to go in, gets nice. a lot of damage. Nice, I like this it. This is just good play. Jules not letting him do anything. Maybe he's trying to find something to get started, but he just can't. Yeah, now Vivi. Right, yeah. Now Vivi is gonna try to um find a way to. to call. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> yep. All right. Well. Very good stuff from Jules right there. Really good cancels. A lot of very good B reverses and just Jules such a tricky player. And Vivi. I, and I gotta say, man, um, BB choked sometimes in this he set. Did. And Joel, he didn't. Yeah, and th that's what made the difference. Oh, yeah, it really did. Um, Momentum's important. Like Don't BB, drop it. He would play so good throughout most of the game and then drop key confirms and key uh, punishes at the end. And mm -hmm. it's unfortunate. Yeah, man, we're all scared. Yeah. Well.